Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use the warm reload feature within Cisco to speed up the amount of time it takes for a Cisco device to reload. This feature works by keeping the image file in memory when the device reloads, thus no longer requiring the device to read the image from flash and decompress it into RAM. In order to use this feature, it must first be enabled on the device, which I'll show you how to now. So first of all, I'm just going to show you that the uh, warm reload command appears, even though we haven't got it enabled on this device. So we can do a reload question mark, and we can also do a show warm dash reboot. And that will show us that at the moment the warm reload command isn't enabled. So to enable the warm reboot, we need to go into the comp T. And we then need to type in warm dash reboot. So within here you can specify two parameters. First of all, count. So this is the number of times that you can perform a warm reload before you must perform a cold reload again. And second of all, the uptime. So this is the amount of time a device must be online before a warm reload can occur. So we can press enter straight away after typing warm reboot and this will keep the defaults for these two values, which is five. Or alternatively, we can specify them ourselves, which we'll do now. So we'll set a count of two and an uptime of four. And you can see once we enter that command, the device will prompt us that we need to do a cold reload of the device for this setting to apply. So before we do that, I'll just show you what the show warm reboot command now shows. So it's showing a maximum warm reboot count of two and that the uptime is safe after four minutes of uptime. You can also see at the bottom of this that it's telling us that we need to reload the device before this setting takes effect. So just to prove that a cold reload is required, I'll try to do a warm reload before we start. I can see that it's not possible to complete this at the moment. What I'll do is I'll save the configuration onto the device. I'll then perform a cold reload and we'll time how long it takes to do a cold reload and wait for the device to come back up. Okay, so now the device is back up and running, we'll run the show warm reboot command again. And you can see now that the command outputs a slightly different output. So now the device has been restarted, we can now perform a warm reload. So what we'll do is we'll perform a warm reload just to time the difference between a cold and a warm reload. Okay, so now the device is back up and running, what we'll do is I'll just run the show warm reboot command again. And in here you can see that the router has performed one warm reboot. You also notice that we specified two as the reboot count in our command. So what I've done is I've performed another warm reload, just to show you what happens once you hit the threshold of two. So if I run the reload warm again, we now get a prompt saying that the warm reload is not possible. So in order to resolve this, we need to do a cold reload to fix this. If for whatever reason you want to remove the option for warm reloads on a device, you can see that it's a line of configuration in the config. So all you need to do is just run the no command in front of that and it'll remove the configuration from the device. And there we have it. That's how we can use the warm reload command on a Cisco device to vastly increase the speed at which the device reloads. Hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you next time.